Apart from the big increase in household consumption, the greatest contributor to the strong March quarter GDP figure was business investment, and most of that was machinery and equipment. It rose by 10.3% in that quarter, on top of close to 10% in the December quarter. And guess what that was all about? Utes. The biggest selling vehicle in May was the Toyota Hilux. Light commercial sales passed passenger vehicles for the first time in February, and sales totaled 23,177 in May, 3,000 more than the number of passenger cars. SUVs and light commercial vehicles now dominate Australian car sales. And the SUVs are apparently not being bought by households. It's all business. Why is there a ute boom? Well, because the government decided to make it happen. In the 2020-21 budget last October, the Treasurer announced that businesses with turnover of less than $5 billion could immediately deduct the cost of capital assets at a cost to the budget of $29.5 billion over two years. Last month, he added another $18.1 billion to that and extended it. It was the biggest single item in the budget. So a tradie can buy a new ute, a farmer a new harvester and a manufacturer expand their production line. Yeah. Meanwhile, what the government is absolutely not subsidising are electric vehicles. Well, we're not into subsidising luxury cars. There's not something we're going to do as a, as a government. I mean, people who have the money to buy a luxury car uh, are, are welcome to go out and do that. And that's their choice. Good on them. That was the Minister for Emissions Reduction. But subsidising diesel utes? No problem. <laughs>